everybody and welcome back to yet another review and to another episode of the final 50 a series here on my channel where I review all 50 of the die casts in my collection that I've never reviewed before today we're going to be taking a look at Frank Pinkerton a member of Sarge's boot camp and the final member of his boot camp for me to have to review on my channel I've reviewed TJ Murphy and Charlie Cargo all in the past and now I am finally reviewing Frank Pinky Pinkerton Yes, his nickname is Pinky. We'll get back to that in a minute. This guy was originally released in the Sarge's Bootcamp multi-pack back in 2009, which is how I first got him. He and the other exclusive cars in that pack, that was a great pack. Almost all the cars in that pack were exclusive. All of them except Sarge were exclusive when it came out. And then TJ uh, came out as a deluxe in 2010, I believe. Uh, but then in 2017, they re-released Charlie Cargo. And they followed up with Murphy and Frank in the following year. And Charlie came out again. Um, now, I reviewed the 2018 Murphy when uh, he came out. He had some pretty good updates. Uh, I don't know if Frank Pinkerton got any updates in his re-release. I never really looked into it since, you know, I was fine with just mine. Although I will say, Murphy had his little roof racks up here. Uh, made out of a stronger, thicker material, which is good because my Murphy, my original Murphy, actually has them broken off. Um, but yeah, I've reviewed Murphy twice before. I reviewed Charlie Cargo once. I believe I reviewed uh, TJ once. I was just missing out on Frank Pinkerton here. And when I first heard that the cars from the Sarge's Boot Camp pack were getting re-released, I was honestly a little upset. I was pretty upset because these were some exclusive cars that I'd had in my collection for a long time. But, uh, you know, no matter how upset I was over Frank getting re-released, I could never be upset, uh, as upset, uh, as Frank Pinkerton himself is. Look at how sad he is. This poor guy, what happened to him? Well, I'll tell you what happened to him because we're gonna read his Meet the Cars bio, or rather his, uh, I believe, Car Finder bio. Yeah, he's not in Meet the Cars, but he is in Car Finder, and I was doing research on this guy it's pretty funny, his backstory. If anyone needs a little off-road training, it's Frank Pinky Pinkerton. I just find it funny that his nickname is Pinky when his last name is already Pinkerton. And, I mean, the guy is painted pink. We get it. He's pink. Working the last 20 years as an art gallery assistant in Las Vegas, he's never laid tread outside the pristine showroom. But when he fell in love with a tough, nature-loving Yugo performance artist from Eastern Europe, she made one thing clear. She wasn't taking any tender, tired American SUV back to Belgrade with her. It was her way or no highway at all. So, uh, Frank Pinkerton seems like an all-around good guy. Art gallery assistant seems like a bit of a simp. He's, he's doing, he's doing all this, um, for, for a woman he met. Um, <laughs> taking an off-road course and, and clearly not enjoying it. So, Frank, is she worth it, Frank? Is she really worth it? I guess that's up for you to decide, but I admire the dedication to uh, taking an, an off-road course, um, despite very clearly being distressed by it. Look at that. That's a great expression, but the thing I love about it is it really just looks like they took a smiling die cast and flipped it upside down. <laughs> um, but yeah, great expression. He's got a few marks on him because, again, I've had mine since 2009. Um, really strange wheels. Look at that. That's kind of weird. Uh, the hubcap, like, goes in front of the tire. That's interesting. I wonder if that's similar to the car he's based on or type of car he's based on. Since this is a 2009 release, of course, you could see that mouth plate pretty prominently. Mine actually has some paint missing on it um, and can be maneuvered around a little. Let's keep that as it is. Uh, like I pointed out earlier, these are pretty bendy. I'm not going to bother. I'm not going to, like, touch them because I don't want to risk breaking them. License plate reads TJ7-75. Looks kind of squashed, which is a little weird. I can't really make out what it says uh, above that. Uh, dipstick. This is dipstick. A lot, a lot of old license plates say dipstick for some reason. Um, but yeah, there's a look at his other side. And finally, there is a look at the base. So yeah, very simple car. Um... Not all that much to say about him, but, you know, I hope you guys at least learned a little something about the backstory of our good buddy, Frank Pinky Pinkerton. And at the end of the day, I hope he gets the girl. We're all rooting for Frank Pinkerton. <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye now.